Hey guys, so the question here is, uh, should I be buying a laptop with a dedicated video card or uh, one with an integrated one? Now, I've seen a lot of videos. I was still, you know, I was myself uh, at a point of time, I was wondering what should be the answer for this. And a lot of videos suggest that, you know, it depends. It depends if you are this, but I would uh, really want to give you a clear answer on this. I'm going to do some testing. Uh, trying to render some videos, export it from Adobe Premiere Pro and see the CPU performance. I have a laptop that is an i7 uh, dual core that has four virtual cores and uh, 16 gigs of RAM. So, but this has an integrated video card in it. Now, can it perform to my expectation uh, or not? Can it do video editing and stuff or not? This is the question and uh, do i really do i really need uh, a dedicated card for my laptop to be excellent is is the question that we're trying to answer here okay so let's see uh, what uh, what goes on here uh, i'm going to do some stuff on the laptop so that uh, you can be clear on this and it might help you uh, in taking a decision if you're trying to buy a laptop because uh, the problem is most of the times the laptops with video card like dedicated video card they're bulkier they are bigger they're heavier and you have to compromise on your mobility uh, if you're getting one of those uh, you know unless you're buying a surface pro of two thousand dollars that comes with a dedicated one other than that you know all these laptops they are definitely uh, like 15.6 inch laptops and they're bigger uh, if you want something like a 13.3, whatever, 13, 13 inch laptop, then uh, you don't really get a dedicated video card option in the, in the market most frequently. Now, uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to compare this on my laptop and let's see what the results are. Thank you. So guys, uh, look at the CPU utilization uh, where I have an i7 processor. It's a 2.7 gig gigahertz processor now I'm what I'm doing is I'm just uh, exporting a video in Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, the rendering is going on right now and look at the CPU utilization you don't see a graph because it is 100% utilized and I mean this is a very strong laptop um, and look at this this is i7 7 gen uh, processor and it is pretty pretty recent in performance but uh, the thing is it doesn't have an external I mean a dedicated uh, video card what it has is an integrated video card so that is where a video card is important in the laptop because if you don't have a dedicated video card all the load of, of your video processing or rendering it goes on the processor now <coughs> uh, this everything comes on the processor so the processor utilization shoots up I mean right now look at the RAM utilization uh, out of 16 gigs of RAM it's I'm using just like 5.4 gigs and that's pretty decent utilization I mean that's not too much um, disk utilization is is like nothing right now but look at this the CPU utilization is 100% and and idly you see graphs here but right now there is nothing because it's completely utilized so what happens is if I have a laptop with a dedicated graphic card this load will not go on my processor but it will be shared majorly by the processor that is inbuilt in the video card now the graphic card takes this load and keeps the processor cool and free uh, so basically you can still perform a lot of other tasks. I mean I can still perform some tasks But the thing is I don't want to slow it further down but uh, let me see if I can Browse internet. I mean even after 100% CPU utilization Let me see if I can do that. So I'm going to Okay, it looks like my eye is working. I mean I'm using edge and it seems to be working. Let me try to play a video here while my CPU utilization is already 100%. So let me go to videos and let me play this. I mean, I would have played the Wonder Woman video, but so, so even after my 
CPU is fully utilized because it's a very strong processor, uh, it is still playing the video perfectly. Maybe it's buffering because of the internet, but doesn't look like there is an additional uh, a slowdown of my processor. So it looks pretty decent. Now that's where uh, the intelligent processor, that is i7, comes into the picture. So, so the processor is intelligent enough and it, it understands that you are watching a video and it prioritizes the task. So it might slow down the rendering a little bit, but it will still let you do other tasks uh, using the hyper-threading technology. So, I mean, this is how you can understand what is the importance of a video card in a laptop and without a video card, how the laptop will perform if you're doing something really heavy like uh, video rendering. And uh, it also gives you an impression of how the Intel processors are intelligent enough to understand what you're doing and prioritizes the tasks and they still let you use your computer even after your processor is 100% utilized. I mean, had it been a non-intelligent, uh, you know, like old school processor, it would have just hung or it would, it would have shown you an hourglass or something. But this will still let you do a lot of tasks even after full utilization of CPU. So let me see if I can open Xbox. Oh, it lets me open that and there's no lag right now and I can do pretty much anything. I can go to Skype, I can make calls and that too when my processor is fully utilized. So this is the magic of uh, the intelligent processors and uh, the Intel i3, i5 and i7 all are intelligent processors. I stands for intelligence and uh, that's the magic of Intel. I mean, uh, for now, even my computer has full utilization of the memory, uh, sorry, of the processor. Uh, it's still working. Uh, with an additional video card, it might be a little faster and then I might be able to run a lot of other stuff without any issues, but even without the video card, it might just run a little slow. I mean, the export time might take a little longer, but it is still working still workable so guys if anyone is uh, you know thinking on choosing if they should be purchasing a laptop with a video card or without a video card you can uh, watch my my video and take these things into consideration so now the rendering is complete and you see the cpu is down to like just a little above zero percent so so everything is cool now i mean the laptop has calmed down, the fan is not making that much of noise now, and uh, the work is done. So the conclusion would be for anyone who is wondering if a video card, a dedicated video card is important in their computer or not, uh, should they be purchasing a laptop with, uh, with one or not, the conclusion would be uh, if you really want to do heavy uh, video related stuff uh, basically video rendering editing uh, multitasking between video projects and stuff uh, yes it is important but even if you take a laptop without a video card uh, it will still work most of the time and you know if it, ha if it has a, an i7 processor or something it will definitely work it might be slow the performance might be inferior to what a video card will give but um, I think you know what happens is like laptops without a video card are usually they come in 30 point something inches and they're sleek they're like pretty thin like this one this is an extremely thin laptop and actually it's very much portable so uh, but the ones with the video card because video card itself is, is a big thing you know it's dif it's difficult for you to basically uh, you know make it thinner so definitely the laptops would be bulkier now if you if you can go with that if you don't need mobility and stuff uh, probably go with a laptop with video card to get uh, extremely good performance however if you want a thinner laptop and if you still uh, want to you know keep your mobility and everything on uh, and you want 
a laptop without a video card i would say go with a very good processor with at least 16 gigs of ram at least an i7 processor i mean i would not really suggest an i5 though it might work in a lot of cases but just to make keep it future proof or if you're investing just invest a little more and and get an i7 with a 16 gigs um, try to get a solid straight drive so that you have faster write speed and everything and yeah if you have that i think it should be it should be pretty good because other than video editing all those stuff will be smooth will be just excellently done on that laptop so so and the video editing stuff will still be doable so basically uh it's a sweet uh, point between the two extremes and i think it can be done however if you really really are a professional editor or something or you're making movies and stuff definitely go with a dedicated card or if you have a desktop then definitely definitely get a desktop with a video card all right i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and i hope i made uh, I, I made some sense thank you guys bye bye